What's up, folks? Welcome to another episode of Trapped in Arkham. My name is Zach from Another Letdown Media and the This is Difficult video game podcast. I will be your host this evening, joined by my amazing co-hosts on the line, starting with our resident monkey handler and my perennial painting partner, Mike, better known as, better known, better known as Broody Gambit. Broody, how's it going, man? It's going great. I've got these uh, blueberry yogurt-covered pretzels, and I'm chowing down on them. Fantastic. That sounds delicious. We also have the other Mike a.k.a. the Bill Lawrence of the video podcasting world, Chamali. Hey, what's going on? Well, if we're talking about food and drinks, I have a raspberry kombucha here that is uh, sour but delicious. I mean, we might as well might as well do it. I've, I've got my GTs right here. Not a sponsor, but Dave, let's talk. Uh, I got pomegranate power tonight. It's delicious. Uh, the only one of these three people, or the, these three, the only one of these people who I get to see more than three times a year under normal circumstances, we've got my buddy Jared. Hey, I'm having pizza. Oh, all right. My wife wanted pizza tonight. Unfortunately, we just can't finagle it. Just too many people at the local place. Anyway, uh, we uh, also have our beloved cult leader, Jacqueline. I'm actually ordering pizza, but drinking a nice cherry Pepsi because it's delicious. Cherry Pepsi is very good, although I will say of late, GT's kombucha has replaced, uh, has almost out and out replaced soda in my diet. It's kind of weird. And extremely expensive. And one of the gents without whom this channel would not exist in the first place, we have one of my best friends from childhood. Chris is here. Chris, how's it going, man? Well, it's going all right. I'll be playing Joe Diamond, and I, I'm eating a lamp and a stick of dynamite. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, and of course, if he decides to join us, Greg the Bonzi Buddy, who tries to cast spells after the end of the world and gives us all heart attacks, Reynolds, uh, we'll see. 
we'll see how it was, we'll see if he gets here on time. Uh, the team has successfully sealed away the dangers threatening 1920s Arkham, Massachusetts, or so are due to the heroics of Alex the Baboon Maxwell and Sammy God of Arkham Schuster, or so we thought. With the relative calm washing across Arkham, we set off to explore new worlds in need of our aid. We spent some time in Megalopolis, assisting the Freedom Five, and and we will return there. We do have the intention. Uh, but we also spent plenty of time in Sunnydale, California, saving the world from hellish threats before receiving an urgent call to return back to our home in Arkham. Apparently, the baboon and the god went off after a parcel that had escaped the safekeeping of the Arkham Postal Service and haven't been heard from since. To make matters worse, the Bonzi Buddy has fallen overboard somewhere in time and space, and we've lost contact with him as well. We'll have to see if he or the parcel that Alex or Sammy were after turns up at all during tonight's show. And if not, pray that they aren't being devoured by unspeakable evil. As with all the shows that we host here on the Another Letdown Media channel, we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone and in being as inclusive as possible, so any comments or activity actively working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. So, team, how are we feeling? We ready? Ahoy! Ready as we'll ever be. Let's Ahoy, do it! you guys! Then let's we open the oldie book of Alhazred and get this part investigation underway. So here we are. We are back playing Arkham 1987, the very first edition of Arkham Horror. Um, and Captain Kirk is already at it, making sure that everybody in the channel has a sub. I love it. Captain Kirk means so much to me. Uh, and every every donation to, toward those subs goes right back into the channel. Um, as a matter of fact, Chamali and I were looking into some of the issues that we had on last night's stream, and uh, we're working on improving some of that stuff. Uh, as well. So, so thank you so much, Cult of Gloom. And, or, and sorry, Kirk, Captain Kirk. Cult of Gloom is also here. Hi, Cap Cult of Gloom. Hi, RPD. Um, so yeah, um, tonight we're back to Arkham First Edition. Greg is the one that knows this game the best. Um, for whatever reason, it just sticks in his head better. I, just like I know Second Edition. But here's the rundown. Um, we've each selected an investigator from the investigator tiles over here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and introduce those in uh, just a second. Um, we've also started out with the game with several items that make us better. We've assigned ourselves sanity and stamina, totaling, but not exceeding, 10. Um, based on what we think we'll be doing this game. The way this game works is there will be gates that appear on the board. We have to navigate those gates, go into the other worlds, spend two turns out there, come back and fight the gate to to close it off. If ever there are zero gates on the board, we are we are declared the winners. If the Doom of Arkham, this track over here, uh, ever reaches um, the Doom of Arkham space, we lose. Um, isn't there one more way to lose? Am I or am I just crazy? I think if if more than six gates open. That's right. That's right. If there's ever more than six gates on the on the table, we also lose. Um, it's a simple. Other than that, it's a simple two uh, d six roll and move to figure out where you're going. You get to choose the direction of your movement. Uh, if you land on a taxi space, you can spend a dollar to go anywhere on the board. Um, there will be oh my goodness, and Westy and Captain Kirk are already at it. Um, the uh, there is an auction, which is a chat participation. Uh, oops, there it is. Alt uh, chat participation engine. Chat has. Fifteen dollars and RPD two thirty four is our mod in the chat today. He will be keeping track of uh, of how much money the chat has at any given time. And um, so during an auction, chat can participate just like any other player. If chat is successful buying an item, it will go into the chat stuff tray. Uh, the chat stuff tray can be used at any time. Ch anybody in the chat can just say, "Hey, let's use that thing," and that. Uh, that player gets the benefit of that card for that role. Um, and yes, I believe Westy is indeed challenging you, Captain Kirk. Uh, and I'm going to try not to get over overwhelmed by it today. Um, because that was very silly. I don't know silly. what you're talking about. I would never do anything like that. Um, never. So, uh, sanity and stamina are recoverable by going to the hospital, paying, I believe, $3. And uh, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. Uh, you roll a d6 and recover that much health. Combat with something we'll get into in a little bit, uh, but basically involves a sanity check, uh, trying to roll equal to or lower than your sanity statistic, and then a fight statistic 
uh, with your strength plus any weapons you have. Um, so, I did I miss anything important, Trolley? Probably. Probably um, did. <laughs> the um, the fight is with your fight value, not your strength. Thank you, Broody. Yep, you're absolutely right. I misspoke. So there's that. Uh, I think you got it all. Okay, fantastic. So let's introduce our investigators tonight. Uh, I'll go first. I am playing as Jenny Barnes. She is one of the original characters that Richard Lanius talked to us, uh, the very first trapped in Arkham, uh, about she and Joe Diamond were the first ones developed. Um, she is the the uh, the high roller, basically. The, uh, the, the dilettante, I believe is the word they use. Westy, you probably know better than I do. Um, Debutante. There, thank you. Debutante. Debutante. That sounds about I think right. Debutante is slightly different. Maybe I don't know. Words, they're difficult. <laughs> um, Westy and Kirk should get extra, extra money for each sub they buy. Oh my god. <laughs> no, because Westy's actually playing at the table. That would break the game. <laughs> um. Anyway, so I've got uh, reasonable fast talk, reasonable fight. A uh, little bit higher knowledge and sneak. Very run-of-the-mill, like, straight-up-the-middle character. I gave her uh, six sanity. Oh, my God. Westy. Westy. Uh, and uh, slightly lower sanity. What? It's uh, not me. <laughs> it's, it's not you, sure. Oh, it's your cult, right? Uh, it's, it's the cult. I need more cult members. <laughs> oh, my God. just wants to be number one. That's all. Um, so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have an auction, so we're going to kick that off right, almost right away. We've got an enchanted knife, uh, that makes fighting a little bit better. Uh, I do have a pokeball or a bind monster spell. That's pretty rad. Um, uh, and I do have fight plus one. So I do have slightly better fight, which is great. That's why I gave myself a little bit of extra strength just in case. Uh, Broody, who are you playing tonight? I am playing Vincent Lee, the doctor. Um, I'm slightly above every uh, above average in everything except for talking. I've got terrible bedside manner. Um, I'm built up with an extra sneak, so I can hide pretty well. Um, and I've got ways to get lots of magic, so um, I will hopefully be having a couple spells to start slinging. Fantastic. With a decent knowledge. Sounds wonderful. And Shamali, you're up. I am playing Carolyn Fern. Uh, but I am being the Black Widow, carrying two guns underneath the evening's gown. Uh, very sneaky, and have some uh, shriveling attacks here. And I'm going to get out of town as fast as I can. All right. Yep, so Chamali is once again after his car. Uh, that brings us to Chris. All right, I'm playing Joe Diamond, and I just want to try to figure out how to turn this lamp on. Oh, man, I wish I could figure it out. Oh, wow. Look <laughs> oh at this. God, stick of dynamite inside. <laughs> Where did you get a soundboard? No, I just got a xylophone. I mean, a magical <laughs> lamp. It's still a soundboard. Oh my god, Chris, that's fantastic, dude. All right, so as as per usual, or as uh, anybody who watches the another light, the old another light down sketches, uh, Chris was our character actor. He was like, we we could put him in any situation. It would just save the uh, save the sketch. So. He'll be he'll be doing voices and, and acting the character throughout, and I mean we all kind of do that, but that's why we bring Chris in for these. Uh, okay, Jared. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm playing Mandy Thompson. Um, she's got fast talk five because I got a fast talk card, mm -hmm. a taxi whistle, a cloud memory spell, which is going to come in real handy, and the sword of glory. Ah, the sword of glory. We like the sword of glory. It's we very like glorious. It. Yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, uh, Is it Glorificus? All right, Westy. Okay. All right, I am playing Monterey Jack. 
And let's see. I have an elder sign. I have a pokeball. I have a rifle. And I've got extra knowledge. Nice. So, I'm all sorts of beat things up and know things right. All right. All right, well. So we are all we all start the game at the train station. We've just arrived in Arkham. Uh, and the first thing that happens is a gate appears along with three terrifying monsters. So, uh, let's see. I've got some dice here. I'm going to roll a d6. Like I've got actual dice on my table. I'm going to reroll because it was me. Uh, uh, okay. Camera we five had is. A draw to see who's going to. Oh, be that's draw. right. That's right. We're already forgetting things. Very important. Uh, we have monsters in this cup, and we need to draw off to see who's. Nope, Westy, you're fired. <laughs> I got a pretty little boy. Oh, uh, what is I... that yellow thing? Is that a? Is that a dole or is that a uh, flying? Oh, you can flip polyp, it over. Or... These, these are going back in the bag, so it's flying. That's polyp. a flying Paula. So I think the deep one uh, wins out here. Yeah. I am once again monster drawer. Yes. Three cheers for I monster tried. drawer. I tried. Um. Yeah. So okay. So Broody is the monster. The monster person. Um. Yes. And that means that Jared, I rolled a five on my d6 here. You are going to roll for the first gate. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Okay, I got two blue dice. Yep, and you can roll them right in your tray. That's perfect. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I got the camera and, focused on you. I uh, forgot which key to hit. That's going to be an eight. All right, and an eight on the chart. Silver Twilight Lodge. All right, the Silver Twilight Lodge. Westy, your home gets yes, a gate. Yes, I'm going home! Along with three terrifying monsters. Eh. Oh, those are okay. real bad. Yeah. <laughs> I My don't bad, know what the one is. You're so, one of the things about this game is we don't reveal the monster statistics until we encounter them. So... Something that we think is real bad might not always be, and something we don't think is that big a deal oftentimes is real bad. And the gates, similarly, we don't know where they go until we encounter them. So, I guess that brings it to uh, top of the first turn? Yeah, guess so. All right. Let's do this. How do locations work? Oh, great question, Captain Kirk. When you end your end your turn in a location, um, most of them, there are a set of encounter uh, descriptions over here. I'm not going to zoom in on them, so they're not spoilery. Uh, but Chamali and Broody will be in charge of reading them, depending on who lands on where. Uh, similarly, with the Outer Worlds, I will be in charge of reading those. I do it. We all do dramatic, voicey stuff uh, for that, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, so it's similar to how they work in, in 2E. Um, yeah, the great old ones in this are regular encounters. They are regular monsters. So that's why Westy got fired immediately. She drew uh -huh. Azathoth. Which we don't want don't really want to see. That's real bad. No, he he devours entire universes. Yep. Alright, so 2D6 for movement. Let's see how motivated I am on turn one. A nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna head over to Harney Jones Shack. You can see we did grab the. Oh well. We did grab the uh, investigator pawns from Arkham Horror Second Edition. Uh, but uh, okay, that's it for my movement, Broody. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the brazen head. It grants me two random spells. Mm-hmm. And so I rolled two d sixes. Okay, so I get one spell, but then I also summon a monster in my space or location. <sighs> so surprise everyone! Cthulhu's in the train station. Oh. Oh, that's gone 
very badly wrong. This went poorly. Joe Diamond has noticed a problem in the train station. Oh, well, hi, wait, 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 hear me out. This not might not necessarily be a bad thing because the train station isn't a gate located. That's true. So, Cthulhu will never leave this. So as long as no one ever dies and has to come back to the train station, he's trapped there. He is trapped. That's true. Problem is, you're going to have to sneak away from him. No, so specifically the Elder Gods don't move, Kirk. Black monsters don't move. Although cultists are black. Uh, yeah, standard monsters don't move. Or big standards, mo standard monsters move, do move. That's I think the they're called powers in this. Yes, they are referred to as powers. I've also officially named everybody again, so check out your oh, names. Of course, you have. Fun. Just a squid head god. <laughs> oh, just a squid head god. Born and raised in dead real yeah. He caught the midnight train going and... That doesn't really rhyme, Cult of Gloom. <laughs> Here you had me trying to do my best journey impression, and that's not my best journey impression. Um, that's not your best. Okay. Yeah, you, you've definitely heard better from me. Mm -hmm. It's a long time till midnight. He's going to be waiting at the train station quite a while. Yeah. Hope it doesn't rain. Did he just turn 12 to 1? Yeah, it's gonna be a while. Now, I'm assuming I have to deal with Cthulhu before you I try and sure move. Do. So, let's flip him over and see how terrible he is. Well, we need a While sanity Broody's check. While Broody's dealing with it, can I just like sneak away while that crazy guy over there who summoned the monster is fighting him? I don't think so. Yes, okay, that is so strength I points my thirty. Check. What's that, Brody? Sorry, I failed my sanity check. Okay, uh, that's D six. And I'm insane. Okay, that was fast. So you need some cookies, is what you're saying. Brody immediately needs cookies. I just got half his stuff before rush hour. I'm gonna be shooting him in the face. Okay, really? so that completely botched my initial plan, which I'm going to point out to you real quick. If I had rolled well enough for movement, I could have run, dove into the gate, find gate out, and potentially sealed the gate on the first turn. Huh. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. <laughs> that is that only just if horribly only. wrong. If only. That plane turned sideways really quick. Yeah, uh, for real. So yeah. Oh, I need to Have fun, Shamali. You're up next against Cthulhu. Well, luckily I have two guns. I can shoot him in the face, right? Only magic harms him. Fun. So you can shoot him in the face. It'll just be ineffective. Okay. <clears throat> um, I believe I have to deal with Cthulhu before doing anything. I believe that is correct. I will start by doing a sanity check here, and hopefully not pulling a Rudy. Ah, I succeeded. Nice. If you hit him in the head with a speedboat, just like they how they beat him in, up in the book, you win. Well, learning and... Uh, dang it, I don't... Have, learning and growing. I shall now use my sneak plus one to do a sneak check here. Alright, go ahead. So he's got to go rope four or lower, and he does not. That was not. Uh, so then I want to take damage? I think so, yeah. So how much damage does he do? Uh, it's like a d6, right? Yes. Yeah, yep. That's correct. No speedboat. For, for $30, you can have a car. Three? One, two, three. Okay, I'm still alive. You are still alive. Same. But I can do a sneak check here. Uh, did you pass the sanity check? First time. Okay, and you lost two. Yes. Okay. So you only have to do the sanity check once per turn. That's what I thought. Yeah. So let's try another sneak here. 
This time I'm going to shoot him in the face while backing up. There you and go. It worked. All right, so you have successfully snuck away from Cthulhu. You are one space away from him. Now can I move, or am I just... Outside? I believe your turn is now over. Fantastic. <laughs> Perfect. This works all according to plan. Everything according to plan. It's all fine. I am not dead. That's all that matters. Yikes. All right. I will pass um, this off to Joe Diamond. All right, Chris. Give this hip... Shoot All right, eyes. Chris, I'm, I'm turning Diamond. your stuff 90 degrees so it shows up better on camera. Oh, sure. There you go. Joe Diamond doesn't mind. Joe Diamond's used to be in turn 90 degrees. Just ask the missus. Now let's... Whoa! Um, uh... <laughs> I don't know whether to language that or not. <laughs> I, I, Joe Diamond's a dancer. Now listen, um, Joe Diamond doesn't remember what to do. So Joe Diamond is sneaking away, which... It requires a sanity check. Oh, uh, first of all, a sanity check, yes. Okay, oh, you sanity made him, check you is made one him a, dice. a sane boy. Yep. Oh, good thing I did. Yeah. I rolled the six on did that Did you sanity actually roll check. that, or did you just type the number six? No, I typed F. Okay. Uh, F, no, F so yeah, it hit R. R? R? Okay. Joe Diamond's hitting R. Well, that's a four. That's even better. Okay, Joe Diamond's safe. Uh, well, you do Joe take Diamond's two. You do two take two sanity damage because he's just that bad. All yeah, right. Captain Kirk, I am aware of that. Uh, that my my habits in three D environments come from three D modeling, so I I tend to not do that. <laughs> now Joe Diamond's gonna sneak away. <laughs> <laughs> We've turned into a Bugs Bunny cartoon. <laughs> Alright, so you need to make a sneak Personally, check. Personally, I think the use of a xylophone is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it's wonderful. Joe Diamond always refers... <clears throat> Joe Diamond always refers to himself in the third person. Yeah, I actually got the xylophone for LARPing, but uh, it has proven useful in very many other things. With a rocket launcher. Um, so yeah, so uh, Chris, the way you sneak is you roll one d six. Try to roll below, equal to or lower than your sneak statistic. So you pass the sanity check. You still have to do the sneak check. Oh, Joe Diamond's getting ahead of himself. He sure is. Oh, oh no, he Joe takes Diamond's damage. not getting away today. So. It's Joe Diamond. Always refers to Joe Diamond in the third person. Alright, what do I get for damage? 1d6. Oh, back to the tray. Okay, you are still alive. Damage. Alright, now I believe you are just kind of stuck there for the moment. Sounds like Joe Diamond's thing. I, th I think that's how that's supposed to work. I thought you keep fighting until... Because, it, no, it's sne sneaking and fighting is the same thing. It, oh, right, because now you be... Okay, you know, yeah, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're supposed right. to keep going yeah. until you're either yep, go I'm insane sorry. or no, go I believe In second it's edition... It's impossible for me to kill him. Oh, it's definitely impossible yeah. for you to kill him. So that's... In second edition, You, if you fail to sneak, you have to go into combat. Until you're, you just fight until you're dead. Well, in that case, I would just die because there's really nothing I can do. Yeah, uh, and I think that's how that's supposed to work. But uh, hold on. I, the funny thing is, I can get pretty close, but I can't quite get to thirty. No, yeah, I'm trying to find out if. No, I don't. Want to I'm pulling out the rules good. right now. Yeah, I got it too. The maximum uh, twenty-eight. If your sneak is unsuccessful. No, 26. If you're attempting to sneak. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do, you do roll the sneak again. All right, we're going to try to sneak one more time, Joe. Joe, don't fail me, Joe. You got it. That's a two. Move Joe's one space away. away from him. 
Joe gets away from Cthulhu. I wish I had a way out of here. <laughs> oh, wow! I'll take the back door. Oh, my God. All right, that brings us to uh, Jared. Okay. Uh, sanity check? Yep. Oh, I can't fail this one. Four, well, so I take you, two sanity damage. So you've got your strength and sanity reversed again. Oh, I don't know why I keep doing that. The okay, <laughs> it's, so I, it, I think one, it's two. actually like a legitimate xylophone RPD. Look, Joe Diamond okay. is going down some stairs. Slowly crouches so, down as he walks behind the desk. <laughs> now I need to make a sneak check to get out of there, right? Yes, you do. So three or less. New. That's a six. Take damage. Try again. Uh, what's the damage on that? D6. It's always D6. Oh. One. Okay. <laughs> You manage to bat the tentacle out of the way as it as it smacks you in the face. You still you fail again. Take damage. Try again. Okay, you Five. you are okay. injured. So flip yourself over. I got it. We'll flip you over and put you in the hospital. Oh, I'm out of there. Thank you. Get well. Complete and utter chaos. I apologize. Yep. <laughs> would I would expect nothing less, Broody. No, that's what happens when Cthulhu shows up at Grand Central Station. I guess. I'm the first turn. Yeah. Uh, Greg did ask someone to play for him, so I guess he is taking care of <laughs> So what you're saying is, in the absence of Greg, the Bonzi buddy is Broody. Fitting. He handles monkeys Pretty for much. a living. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. All right. Westy, what do you got? Well, I'm not going to fight Cthulhu. I'm going to sneak it. Well, you have to take the sanity check first. All right, what's sanity? Let's see. I have a five. Sure, let's do this. What is a Bonzi Buddy? Bonzi Buddy was a particularly brutal piece of malware. Um, and RPD has got you covered. Thanks, RPD. Uh, I passed the sanity check with a three. Okay, so you lose two. And now I'm I lose two, but now I'm going to sneak. Yes, and you have a five, so it's pretty tough to fail. But the spirit of That's Greg what I is... Thought. Okay, yeah, you got it. You're out. Five, five by five, I'm out. All right. Well, we have... That has happened. We've all moved. Most of us have gotten away from Cthulhu. Uh, however, Broody, whose fault Cthulhu is... And Jared have gone insane and injured, away. respectively. Uh, the Harney Jones Shack. I am. I am there. I'm the only encounter this turn. Uh, so I guess I need to roll a die. It's one die, right, for this? Yes. Okay. So to generate an, an encounter, there's six encounters on the sheet for each location. Uh, I'm gonna roll one d6. I rolled a one. A monster appears. Seriously? Yep. Good. Good. <laughs> good job. You are fired. Oh my you god. Are, are you kidding me? <laughs> How many powers are in this? Five. Oh, Five. Uh, We've Don't already drawn three. Guys. I want right. noted that I got fired for this. Yeah, yeah. he just Rudy got fired. fired. Jared, fired. you've been he hired. You've been fired the first time. I've been, been hired. Fired. Are you sure? Oh, everybody else failing Look at right now. The right we're going ain't nobody gonna have jobs. I know, right? <laughs> oh my good golly! All right. Uh, have fun with this one. What's that one? Have fun with this one. Yep. Uh, so I got to do a sanity check, and I've only got four. I fail. I take D6 what? D six plus one. D six plus one. I go nuts. Well, that turn has gone very badly. We've got two powers in play, three investigators down. I think 
So what you're saying is that without Craig here, there is like this major disturbance in the Cthulhu verse, and we're all gonna die. Oh yeah, we are all so terribly screwed. <laughs> we need our okay. Bonzi buddy back. Good to know. We I, need I our Bonzi buddy back. I have an issue with this because there's treasure in Harney Jones' shack. How am I gonna get a car? Shut <laughs> Negrat. Is standing on Harry Jones' head. <laughs> okay. So, I need a donation up. of all your money. What? I need a donation of all your money in order to afford a car now. Okay, well, I'm going to spend three of it real quick while I'm in the sanitarium. <laughs> and... I volunteer some, too. Yay, maximum sanity gain. Hooray! All right, Chamali's in the streets. Chris is in the streets. Jared, you are at the hospital. You're gonna pay yes, the three and gain some help. Uh, gain some help back. Yeah, how many do I have to spend? Three dollars. Whoop! Nope. I subtract three dollars, not add them. Yes. You're not robbing the orderlies. <laughs> ah! I'm... There you go. And you gain uh, D6. Roll D6, or do I get yep. all, all of it back? D6. D6. Five. Fantastic. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, oh. I only got a four. Oh, that's right. Yes, of course. Can the chat rob the orderlies? No, the chat cannot rob the orderlies. <laughs> uh, Westy, you're in the streets. And I guess that brings it back to me yeah. for a gate draw. Uh, do the okay. monsters go before the gate oh, draw? Oh, yeah, the monsters move. Uh, no, 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 gates. gates it's gate, then monsters. monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so 2d6. It's a four. Brings it to the lighthouse. And how many monsters? Can someone send RPD to bed? To get a car? Three monsters? Just uh, one. No, no, just one. Oh, good. Oh, I oh, thought it was black. Cool. I thought it was a, uh, another oh, power. Oh, it's a werewolf. I, thought, I was like, oh my god, really Whoop. another power? I I am just very disappointed in Muzak right now for spawning gate at the lighthouse. I know, I'm terrible. Okay, then monsters. Yep, monsters move. So, um, according to the monster movement, they have arrows pointing. That is like a directional marker uh, to determine their handedness. The R means that this one is right-handed, so it will go right at intersections based on the orientation. Yep. So we'll move one space, the number next to it, four being the number of spaces, so one. Yep. And we'll choose to go to the right. Two, three, four. Yep. So he's sitting on the taxi. And he is a blocker, uh, meaning that investigators cannot get within one space of him. He considers to be ta He's considered to be taking up all three of these spaces. Oh, hi, the Flying fire Polyp. The nearest investigators. Well, that's a thing. Uh, they, they, they're they pretty. They pull the way that they move. That arrow points the way they move. So when you moved him to the right, his arrow should be pointing down now. Yep. So like this. Uh, if that's... Okay. The, the arrow indicates they're facing. So if the arrow was indicating they're facing when they can't come out of here... Right would have been this direction. One, two, three. Right. Oh, okay. So we did that backwards. Okay. And one, two, three, four. There you go. All and right. And the werewolf moves down here. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Cult of Gloom has just discovered that we can send Wisebot to bed. <laughs> Wisebot is sending himself to bed.
Okay, so um, I, I think one of the uh, guys, uh, someone has to deal with this flyer. Yep. Uh, not immediately. It'll, it'll happen on our turn, though, right? Or does it? No. You know no, what? The yeah, you're right. Moves to you, it immediately attacks. Right. That's right. Uh, since I am next in turn order, I believe I have to deal with it first. Yes, I believe that is correct. Uh, however, Jacqueline, you do have a Pokeball. Maybe hand that to Chamali. Chamali, you want my Pokeball? It catches uh, really cool Pokemon. I, I, um, yeah, I guess I'm going to need it. Because I don't think I can five, do 16 points of damage. No, I don't think. Yeah, Pokeball is my monster. Pokemon, I mean, by Pokemon, I mean the monster. The pocket monster. Pocket monster. Put it in your pocket. All right, Chamali, how are you doing this? First uh, I need first. to first see if I'm not insane. Yes, that's a good, good, good first step. Oh, I failed. Yeah, you. Uh, oh, in. Huh. And I'm insane. Okay, that's gone bad. Also, Zach, when you went insane, did you uh, lose a spell? Oh shoot! No, I didn't. All right. So, at what point do we just table flip and restart? Okay, we'll flip and restart until nah. we die. Yeah. We're gonna we're All gonna right. see this through to the bitter bitter end. The just because, we, just because we have a good win in, just because we have a good win percent percentage here, doesn't mean we don't uh, play the whole game. I agree. I believe it is the next person in turn order, turn, which is Joe Diamond. Well, Chris, sanity check, Joe. Oh boy, Joe Diamond gets to try to do so. Oh, no, he's got a fl a flying polyp. I'm yeah, that's sure what, that's what Joe with. Diamond's doctor said when he went to the hospital last. Um, <laughs> oh my god! All right. No, no, that was a benign polyp. That's a little different. A flying polyp. <laughs> benign <let's see>. polyp. <laughs> <laughs> So, Joe Diamond could try to kill this thing. Well, I, you now, need a sanity check first. I need a sanity check first. Okay, that's going to be a sanity check for Joe Diamond. Oh, boy. Joe Diamond's got a five. Take two. Dang, just barely. Take All two. All right, let's see. Lose two sanity. Yes, yeah, still two. Oh, that's not great. Has talked about in the new publication. Diamonds getting crazy oh, real fast. You need a strength of sixteen, and weapons do one point of damage. Well, you've got the, okay. See if you can get the dread curse off. It's gonna be tough. I but. could try to get the dread curse off. Let's see. Uh, that's gonna be what kind of a roll do I have to do for that? Is that knowledge? Knowledge. Yep. Oh, <laughs> well, I could have thought this through a little better. Joe Diamond's not a thinker. Well, no, but so um, okay. So you haven't de declared that you are actually attacking. You're just trying to cast the curse. Now, now, if I you have fail, the lamp as well. The right. lamp is a plus three magical attack, but it's an item, so does it do one? No, it is a one handed yeah. weapon, so it only deals oh, one yeah, damage. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so try right. and cast so a curse. Try if the you curse. fail, you can try and sneak. No, Diamond's giving it a shot. Oh, you no, Diamond did not give it a good shot. He threw away his shot. Actually, do you want to try and actually roll the die? Actually Don't throw away the your shot. Well, I hit the roll button. Did you? Okay. No. Yep, I hit the R button for okay. this one. You can hit it more than once, um, and it'll kind of go up in the air. It rolls a little bit more cleanly. I see. I've got it, like, it sort of looks flat to me, so I can't really tell what's happening in terms of the oh, air. Oh, gotcha. But uh, I got a good idea, I guess. I just can't see it too well. All right, let's see. Uh... So I would try and sneak. Yeah, Joe Diamond's going to do a sneak. Three or less. Goes. There you go. That's better. So you, you get away. One space in either direction. Oh boy, Joe Diamond doesn't really want to go to, J to Honey Jones's shack, but he also kind of doesn't want to go anywhere near that green thing. Yeah. Alright, Jared. Joe Diamond's running away. <laughs> okay. Um, I am not entirely certain what I want to do. I'm just going to roll the dice and see where they land. Yep. 
Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Jacqueline still needs to deal with that flyer, flying polyp. Oh yeah, that's right. This isn't even our movement yet. Oh my god. Yeah, this is all just like the monster phase. Oh my god. Oh. Come on, bring it on. I'm ready. Okay, sanity check. Alright. Big money, big money, no whammies. That's oh, you got big money. You fail? If you fail, fail. take four. I'm insane. Nut house. Go directly to the nut house. <sighs> do not collect, do not pass go, do not collect 200 anything. Can I have some tag alongs? Okay. Well, that was an interesting first turn. Yep. So now we uh, pass the first player marker? We sure do. End of the first turn. <laughs> Everyone is Wait, either insane or should, should I have not moved then? Because I had already had a turn when I tried no, no, to leave. No, no. When you sneak away, you do move one space. So you, your, your play this turn is to book it. As hard and fast oh, as you I can. I thought that my first turn was leaving the train station, and then I had another turn where I left the left the train station. No, so you snuck the, away from um, Cthulhu. That was your first turn. The monster phase attacked you. Oh, that was something that happened in the monster phase. Yes. It just felt like a whole turn. Okay, oh, yeah. my yeah. bad. Because it attacked everybody. So basically, at the end of the first turn, we had everyone either insane at the hospital, or they are Joe. Yeah. <laughs> or they are Joe Diamond. <laughs> Joe Diamond doesn't have any medical insurance. Joe Diamond can't afford to get caught by a monster. <laughs> oh my god. Joe Diamond doesn't need medical insurance. Okay. So, first player moves to me. Let's see how fast I can run. Nine. I've just updated the overlay to say all the ancient evil is threatening Arkham. Okay. That was an uneventful turn. Yeah. But I'm done. Okay. Shamali has to wait to heal. Correct? I guess. Yep. I'm stuck. I can't do anything. RPD says those are the three alignments in, ho in hospital consuming cookies or being Joe Diamond. Exactly. And of course, we all know what happens to him in the end. Wait a minute. Is that is this just what happens to Joe Diamond? Cult of Gloom is literally in the chat right now. Joe Diamond is the only one not in the hospital or insane. I think we might just be playing that story out. This this is how Joe. This is the story of Joe Diamond. Yeah. Let me tell you the story about how it all went wrong. Some but someone Joe tells, Diamond. Someone summoned Speedy Olrac. Maybe Night Mist can help. This isn't around yet. If Joe Diamond's still in Arkham. Joe Diamond, time, his only me. friend, is magic talking lamp. What do you mean you don't talk? All right. Sorry. Whose turn is it? Uh, should it be Joe Diamond's turn to move? All right, Chris, you need to book it as hard as you can. Snake eyes. All right, now for this, I rolled two dice. Yes. There you go. That's a pretty gas roll. Joe Diamond's got his running shoes on. So maybe. Okay, come with me on this journey. Oh. Always. Taxi to the one should of the gates. That literally gets him as far of... as possible. Do you think I have enough juice to, to manage the gate? I got, like, three sanity and two strength. Oh, you got this. <laughs> Ball so hard. This. Joe Diamond. Joe Diamond's going to the lighthouse. He's always wanted to see a lighthouse. All right, so you need to spend one dollar to take the taxi. And that will put you $1 right up to the plateau, plateau of length. Oh, All wow. Right. What is this mystical portal that awaits me at the lighthouse? It's pulling me through to the Plateau of Lang. <laughs> oh, my God. The xylophone is so gas. I love it. All right. 
That brings us to Jared, who is currently standing up at the hospital. In the hospital. Okay, so let's see where I, how far I can go. Oh, shoot, I guess it's... Seven. That's a very average roll. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that will take me to the other gate. All right. Which may be a bad idea, oh. but we really... Yeah, we need to start getting on top of this. You went the home. Line. No, I'm just dreaming. Yeah, of home. Wow. True. I mean, you sleep in your own bed, don't you? Hey, um, Sometimes. just as... How's your casting? Great. Why? As you run past me, you can have that. Oh, passing? I thought you meant... Hold on. I don't actually know. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, the stream. Uh, Sorry, my no, casting is casting aggressively average. A four knowledge is a little bit better, yeah. You can bit, have that train gate and try and get out of there ASAP. Sure. Sounds good. So, Westy, we need your uh, your recovery roll here. I'm coming. Or actually, no. Sorry, that's a near encounter phase. My bad. I so hold off. Yeah, I have an ammo. You, you don't have movement. Is my turn just flipping back over? Yeah, mine is as well. All right. All right. Broody. So, I'm in the street, so no encounter for me. Indeed. Jamali at the sanitarium. I'm rolling to heal. Yes! That's uh, really disappointing. Not worth the doll hairs. I mean, it's better than none. It's true. Well, how the game's been going. Yeah, it's true. All right, Chris, you are in the Plateau of Lang. I need you to roll 1d6 and tell me what you rolled. Oh, boy, this is a dream come true for Joe Diamond. No, it's really the not. The Plateau of Lang. Oh, how I've dreamed of going on a vacation. That's a three. Avalanche! Make a successful strength roll. Uh-oh. Joe Whoa. Diamond needs to get a one or a two. Joe uh -oh. Diamond's not very optimistic. Joe Diamond got a one. Hey, fantastic. You do not lose three strength points. Now make a successful fight roll. Oh, boy. Do I use any weapons or you something? Use, or just a regular uh, fight roll? Fight and your any, any skills that you have. Oh, skills. I got one skill. That'll get me up to a six. Joe Diamond rolling the dice. Here he goes. Oh, what? that's a six. You're oh yeah. Okay, so you are fine. Yep. You do not take three three strength points and damage. That worked Fighting out very Joe well for Diamond. you. Joe Diamond is so strong he can punch boulders. Joe Diamond once punched an avalanche. Him my, and his only friend, the talking lamp. My grandmother punched me in the avalanche once. 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 <laughs> Check out his new gun. It's an 88 Magnum. It shoots through schools. <laughs> I love that movie. It's so good. Oh my god. It's one of Michael Keaton's best. Absolutely. Or at least one of his funniest. Oh, absolutely. So for, for those wondering what Jared and I are on about, uh, it's a movie called Johnny Dangerously. Uh, his last name is indeed an adverb. Uh, and it's all about how crime doesn't pay. Well, it pays a little. And the intro is performed by Weird, Weird Al. Al Yankovic. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I'm okay. Ooh. I think that moves us to Jerry. I believe it does. Uh, so hopefully Zach will recover. <coughs> You all right there, Zach? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Sorry, chat. I couldn't mute the mic quickly enough. I'm just dying on Cthulhu aid over here. <laughs> and which, I like, Chamali, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't kombucha basically just Cthulhu aid? Because there's a giant freaking scoby hanging out in it. 
What? <laughs> that's a, that's a, I did not think of it that way, but I guess, yes. Yeah. Kabucha Kithu- is just basically Cthulhu. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. I just, you know, did dying. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, Where are we at? I uh, need. To, I believe I am rolling on the Earth's Dreamland chart. You sure are. What have you rolled? Oh. I have not rolled yet. I was waiting until you uh, either um, started breathing or died. <laughs> four. <laughs> a four. Gradually, the Sly Moon Beast edges you to the gangplank. Make a fast talk roll. Oh, I'm glad I got that fast talk card. Now, yeah, all you I have to do is not roll a six. Oh, I didn't roll a six. So. Great, Whew. you are not uh, devoured. Thank you. Woo-hoo-hoo. All right, Westy, you are at the sanitarium. Are you recovering? Is that yes. your plan? All right, do your recovery yes. thing. Yes. All right, so here we go. You're six. I get two sanity. All right, and I am similarly doing the same thing. It's spending three dollars and rolling a d6. Oh, I will recover four. I will. Oh, I'm back up to full. Also, uh, I think it's time, everybody. We we lo- we took a ton of. Uh, actually, oh yeah, yeah. So I should have called the auction before you guys left for Ar- uh, left Arkham. Do yeah, we- I was wondering where my auction was at. Yeah, I missed my auction. Well, because I was so busy trying to drive the stream. Uh, I forgot. Do you guys mind doing that retroactively? I don't mind. Chamali Brady, how are you feeling about it? I'm fine with that. I mean, the only... Okay, so... My one problem is is that for those of us who have healed already... Yeah, I was just about to say, it's just easier to just do the auction now. Do yeah, because okay. we've already spent the $3 to heal, so... Alright, that's fair. All right, so the only people who can participate are the people who are currently in Arkham, which means myself, Broody, Chamali, Westy, and the chat. Uh, the way this works is I'm going to draw two items, describe the items, and pick a starting price. We will go around in turn order and bid on them at either more or either more than the current asking value or pass. Once you pass, you are out. Um, so... RPD is in charge of the $13 belonging to chat. Uh, chat goes last in the order. Uh, there, uh, so currently has $13. Um, and yes, Jared, you are forbidden for, from using chat to bid. Aww. Uh, okay, so here's, here's the auction. That's just you, Jared. We're going to call an auction. We've got Jared. If you may quickly make a Twitch account and follow him, and no, uh, don't make a burner account. Uh-oh. Don't do that thing. No, nah, stop that's, trying that's to embezzle the sweet. game, RPD. You know it's thirteen. You can't either, Westy. You did not say anything about that. Not p- chat people. Not playing. Not currently sitting at the virtual tabletop. All right, our items on display tonight are a 45 automatic and a taxi whistle. Let's start with the taxi. Start with the taxi whistle. This taxi whistle is shiny and silver, and summons the taxi anywhere you want to go, even if there's a a, a, a a monster in your way. It can take you anywhere you want to go in Arkham, but only once. It's a car, but it only has one use. The as- starting asking price is one dollar. Broody, uh, would you like? A taxi whistle. I would pay a dollar for that. I'd buy that for a dollar. One dollar going to Chamali. No, yes. Right? Uh, yeah. Uh, a one used car when I can have an unlimited used car? No, thank you. All right, pass. Westy, two dollars or pass? Two dollars. I'm sorry? Two dollars. All right. Two dollars it is going to I chat. Want a taxi chat. Whistle. Three dollars or pass. Our chat will make some decisions over here while we uh, RPD votes pass. Cult of Gloom says pass. Captain Kirk says pass. So here's how it's going to work. Um, RPD, you you are the holder of the cash, so I want you to vote last, and your vote is the one I will take. 
Uh, just take so you you basically vote on behalf of the chat, kind of like the the speaker of the chat, basically. And uh, so they have passed uh, for three dollars. I do not want a taxi whistle for three dollars. I will pass. Yeah, neither do I. All right, Westy, it is yours for three dollars. Deal. And next, the one we've all been waiting for, the 45 automatic. It has a plus four physical attack, fits neatly into a purse or small uh, knapsack for easy concealment. The regular asking price is five dollars. I'm going to start the bidding at three dollars. Rudy, three dollars or pass? Uh, I'll pay three dollars for it. Three dollars going to Chamali. Four dollars or pass? Here, I'll do four. Four going to Westy. Five or pass, Westy. I'm passing. I have a rifle. All right, chat. Five for the gun. Five dollars or pass. What about Jared? Jared's lost in time. Or Jared's in the Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds people can't bet. All right. All right. RPD says five. I will. I will raise to six. Seven or pass, Brody. Mm, I'll pass. Seven or pass, Jamali. Almost a third of a car can't do that. No. Seven or pass, Westy. I already passed, Zach. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Seven or pass, chat. Cult of Gloom says seven. Captain Kirk agrees with seven. RPD? RPD confirms at seven. Uh, I'm going to pass giving the gun to chat. Now, chat, you now have this gun. And six dollars remaining. Anytime you want, you may deploy that gun to um, to one of the players by typing the words deploy gun. And I will just give it to whoever is the active player. And I, I will get a, the bot working for that at some point. So deploy got it'll you can do deploy gun, um, and then a color or something like that. Chad has got a gun. Is that where you're going for, Westy? It was. Thank you for that. You're welcome. So and have I, I ever told you my Steven my Tyler story? Muted. What was that, Jared? Sorry. Uh, I I did laugh, but my mic was muted. Gotcha. Did I ever tell you my St my Steven Tyler story? No. I ran into him in a supermarket. And when I say ran into him, I mean literally collided with him. <laughs> I was like six. Really? Yeah. Uh, so Steven Tyler is ha has a home uh, about 20 minutes east of me. West of me? West of me. And... Uh, he just happened to be there, and he was grocery shopping. Yeah, I thought I thought he he was originally from New Hampshire. He is, yeah, yep, yeah, Sonapi area. All right, so we'll put this card away, and that concludes my uh, encounter phase, which means I go roll gate, gate roll, gate roll. Oh dear. That's not the right button. That's the right button. Oh, I guess I should do this. <clears throat> uh, L10. Lake Miskatonic. Oh, there's a gate in the water. Oh, joy. There's a gate in the water. With Uno Monster. With Uno Monster. Oh, that's me. That's what happens when you go around oh, dumping oh, buckets of water on people maniac. in the university. It's a maniac. Yep. It's a maniac, maniac. <laughs> maniac. Sorry. Oh my goodness, you could say it's a water gate. I'm glad, 
Go to bed, oh, Christopher. Go to bed. <laughs> Whoops. You're blindfolded. Yeah. yeah. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. So, monsters? Uh, how many? Oh. Just one. Two, three, four, five. Blocker goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Fire goes this way to the nearest person, which is me. Sure is. Good luck. So, I've got a sanity check. Hopefully this goes better. It did not go better. But you're still alive. I didn't die. So, I'm going to attempt it to did speak. go better, really. I successfully snuck. Sneak right into the Silver Twilight Lodge? Can you do that? Uh, um, no, you can't. Not quite. Jared's already in there, so I'm going to try and sneak into the Miskatonic Lake. Because yeah. now the, uh, the Maniac's going to come out. Yep, sure is. And I'm going to attempt to sneak again. That one I think you can probably handle, though. I probably could, but I want to get the free movement into the gate. Yeah, that's true. Another dimension. Another dimension. Red. All right. That's a good use of a monster turn. Yeah, a little... Mm -hmm. uh, Kind of li right in the lucky train there. For those uh, yeah, Kill Doctor Lucky the fans time I out there. Yeah, that's the second of anything but a six that I've rolled a six. Yeah. The gods and the Bonzi buddy have forsaken us. Okay. Um, that's it for monster movement. Oh, yep. shoot. Doom marker. <laughs> There's three. Here you go, yep. Chamali. We you always forget the Doom marker. Chamali, you're up. Uh, okay. Let's see what I can pull out of my bag of tricks right now. Um, and that is nothing I'm saying here. The cookies are good. Yeah, the cookies are real good. All right, Chris, shuffle over one space, for you are still within the Plateau of Lang. Oh my goodness, I really wish I knew the way out of this Plateau of Lang. Oh, hi, I'm Lampy. I'm here to tell you the way out. <laughs> All you gotta do is roll a d6 and see what happens. That seems real oh, helpful, Oh boy, a Lampy. six, Lampy. Well, not yet, buddy. Oh, I don't roll one yet? No, because it's still your movement. So we do movement, oh, and then right. we come we back do, to you for encounters. Yeah. I forgot it split up. It's not yeah, like... Yeah. This got me confused, because I did this, and then I went and played Warhammer 40k with somebody, and we Ooh. like tried splitting up all the turns, and it didn't work. And we were like, why is this not working? And then we realized it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, okay, so that brings us to Jared. Jared shuffles over. Whee! Westy. This time I want to try some shortbreads. Oh, you're staying for more sanity? Yeah. All right. And Girl Scout cookies are in season, well, so... Well, it's... It, okay, it's mm. still... It's your movement, so you're just saying pass. You don't... You don't roll for it until you encounter. I thought we were in the encounter stage. Nope, we're in movement. Wait, Jamal, did you stay there, too? Yippers! Okay. Well, uh, I'm not going to be quite as lame, because I healed up to full, so I'm going to roll 2d6 and start moving. Ooh, I am very motivated. 12! Uh, Woo! Yeah, Who's that? that? That is... What's up? I cannot close the gate to another dimension by myself. Okay, I'm headed over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maniac. Oh, I'm going to get hit by the polyp. Unless you sneak. Oh, that's true. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. 
All right, and so hide in the lake. Sanity check. What is the sanity check on the maniac? It's a zero zero. Oh, okay, cool. So I'm sneaking then. I got it. I'm in. I will okay. hang out at the lake. I don't have much that I can offer, but I got an e-knife. We'll see what happens. Play it by ear. Maybe I get an item here. Alright, that's me, Broody. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yep. Uh, okay, so you have not had an encounter out here yet, so you don't shuffle. Okay. Yeah. Then I just sit there, yes. Yep. Yep. Wait a second. Oh, he's got the fine gate. No, I don't. I pass that off, but I have a silver key, and someone happens to be in the dreamlands with the fine gate. Ooh. Hey! Wait, do I have fine gate? Yeah, somebody gave me fine gate. Yeah, I gave it to you when you passed by me and jumped in there. So, allowing the owner to so pass... So what does the silver key do? So, I can use the silver key to uh, pass to and from the outer other world box of the dreamlands during any movement or encounter step. So I put on the space, location, or other world box to mark my departure point, and I can just move in between it. That's true. So I can move over here. Yep. Borrow that find gate, or at least take it back, and then move back. You sure can. Which would, I guess, allow you to attempt find gate? You probably. I'd imagine maybe. One maybe we're janking this out. I don't know, but... Given the start of the game, I'm going to allow shenanigans. Or at yeah, least I'm gonna I, I think this is play. very reasonable. Chamali, what do you think of the rule call here? I second that motion. All right, use the thing. Do the thing, Broody. All in favor? So I'm going to use my knowledge of four to try and cast find gate. I succeed. I nice. found a gate. He's that coming That pops me home. back over here. Is the key like stuck there now? Uh, I can. I can move the uh, the the um, the owner can move the key. Yep. Okay. But other people could use it if I left it there. Yeah. Sounds great. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So that's your movement. Uh, that brings us back to Chamali for encounters. Uh, let's see if those cookies weren't filled with turds this time. Hope so. That's a little better. Ah, Unfortunately, it puts you farther and farther away from getting that car. Well, Broody owes me $13. Fair enough. And you owe me $13 for summoning the gate on the car, so. Yeah. I think it's all fair now. Right. Yeah. Hey, Zach. Yes, sir. Could chat pay a dollar for the werewolf to use the taxi? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> chat has to decide whether or not to give Broody and me the, uh, the gun, though, to help with this gate. Oh, that's right. Uh, okay, where are we at? Uh, Chris's turn. Joe Diamond. Joe Diamond. Private. Alright, Joe Diamond, now you should that die. That's a five. Among the bones, you find an old book. Draw one spell card. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm not book smart at all. But yeah, but I got are. another spell. It's fine gate. <laughs> oh boy, fine gate. A little too, little too late there, the Dak. But fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so it's like it's uh, Broody is ex exclusively needs the book, needs the gun. Uh, Westy, you are currently at the sanitarium. Yes, I'm going to have some shortbreads.
I'm feeling much better now. All right. Very good, very good. Uh, me, I am helping Broody out. So I'm going to, so first things first, I'm going to hand Broody the enchanted knife. There you go. And then I will have an encounter at the lake. Hey, Blink. Uh, one, please. You happen upon strangely mumbling folks. Sneak to sidewalk or they summon a monster. Okay, I guess I gotta make a... S what? Ho hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak out and immediately have to deal with a maniac. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. I sneak, and then I try and sneak back in. Got it. Okay. Good job. And then I get a chance to close the gate. You do. <clears throat> so currently, I'm using the enchanted knife for a plus four. Yep. My fight of four puts me at eight. So I will add a d6 to this roll, looking for a 13, meaning I need a 5 or a 6, provided the chat does not want to toss me and deploy that gun. Yeah. Uh, okay, RPD says deploy gun to Broody. Yes. So now I have an additional one-handed item that I can use. That gives me a plus 4. So Jared, that you don't get to make power. that call. No, I don't, but... <laughs> I would have been fine, but uh, so that puts me at a uh, four fight, eight from the enchanted knife, twelve from the automatic, and eighteen total for the die roll. All so right, this and gate he needed is thirteen closed. to close it. That was a gate to another dimension. That's the red, so the dim sham goes away. Hooray! I dealt with one of the monsters. Yay! Currently, Broody has the best argument for God of Arkham. No, Although, I disagree. I'm Hold on. Based Hold on it. The, the first turn. I, yeah, I, no, I disagree. He cannot be earning back points when he takes care of the monsters he let loose out on Arkham. Correct. To be honest, I didn't let the red one loose. I only let Cthulhu loose. You let That's two of them loose before we fired you. Yes. Yeah, but do yeah. any of us, did any of the rest of us currently have any claim to anything whatsoever? Like the only one who, the only person who's impacted yeah. the board state is Broody. Uh, I would say Joe Diamond has claims. Joe Diamond does. That's true. Joe Diamond has not died yet. Yeah. So just by sheer not dying or having to go to the hospital, Joe Diamond is in the lead for God of Arkham. Okay, fair also, enough. Joe Diamond's a survivor. Cthulhu oh, is. Currently. Yeah, yeah, it that's true. Cthulhu is currently the god of Arkham, for sure. It depends on whose god of Arkham it is, because I've summoned two gods of Arkham. <laughs> Summoning gods do not, does not give you points, Broody. If that were true, then servicing the gods would give you points. Yup. And it doesn't okay, so that is my encounter. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, okay, Chamali, get some cookies. Well, he was first player, so he already did that. Oh, that's so. right. He already. Oh, that's, that's, that's everybody. So does that mean so Chamali gate, gate roll? Right? Yeah. Ten. That is Lake Miskatonic. Oh, and Broody and I get immediately sucked through. To the city of the great race. Womp womp. Yeah, Jared, I agree. I, I vote lamp. No rest for the wet. <laughs> there's no rest for the moistened. There, yeah. uh, who's drawn monsters? Jared. Jared, I think. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. Um, where am I putting it? Uh, here. Oh, that didn't get shuffled. Lake Jared. Oh, sorry. I'll put it back. Shuffle. 
Oh, so red. boy. It looks like a grunk or grug. A gug. Gug. Those of you at the sanitarium, watch out. There's a flyer on your butt. I will never forget. I used a gug on my D&D players one time, and it was the most terrifying thing they'd ever seen up to that point. It was on a spaceship, which made it even weirder. Ooh. It's a great time. I gotta, I gotta come back that. and make another cameo appearance in your D and D games, man. You're, you're such a good DM. Oh, thank you. Okay. Well, that that one, all of the monsters run have moved. What is a gug? A gug is well, a gug is actually. Hold a on one second. Uh, I'm gonna mute the mic for a minute, and I'm gonna disappear. Chat or er, uh, crew, keep talking. I want to go get a resource, and I will be right back. Words, words, words. Words are good. Words, words. Words. Those words, is it? I mean, is it those words or that words? It's a language words. word. It's a language word. Ooh, words. Is yep. it a good language word or a bad language word? It's a language language word. It's a language language word. Ooh. Now, honestly, I think what made the Gug fight the most memorable was that one of the players had wanted to switch characters, so I had this moment where the, it just, you know, chased the character into, like, this horrifying electric chamber where they got completely destroyed, so the player could then have an almost identical character with a different race come in, like, two games later or something like that, <laughs> and the players were like horrified that this other player had just, I think her last words were she runs into this chamber chasing after her cat, um, which this thing was trying to kill, and she yells, why won't you love me to the cat? And then immediately <laughs> yeah, dies. And, so, then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then they used the chamber to kill the, the Gug later. That was how they finally got rid of it, was they lured it into this chamber. Uh, you know, players, they will never leave a uh, Chekhov's gun unused if you uh, put it in there. They're going to find a way to make it happen. Oh, I was really hoping this was, yeah, was going to come in. Yeah, each time you add a didn't. cat to anything. Um, so unfortunately, so the, the, the resource that I went to grab was the Malleus Monstro Monstrorum, uh, which is from Call of Cthulhu, the, uh, the tabletop game, or the tabletop RPG, uh, which we are working on bringing to this, this show at some point, but it's still to be, to be determined. Um, and it might be some weird Sentinel Comics RPG bastardization of Call of Cthulhu because we just love that system. Um, <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm not seeing Gug in Volume 1. Let's check Volume 2. Because that may be a thing also. It is not. That stinks. So no I can't Gug tell you, Blink, what a, what, a, what a Gug is. Zach rambles. If you, uh, if you type gug into the image search on uh, google it'll give you a whole bunch of really good pictures okay there you go okay. common spell i mean yes i do ramble a lot that's a thing i do um <laughs> i have add what can i say anyway whose turn is it uh, we summon the gate, all the monsters move, so it, I think we're at the top of the round with Joe Diamond up first. Alright. Chris, come on home, buddy. Oh boy, oh boy, Joe Diamond's coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home! Alright, that's back to here. Yep, and you come home with one of these boys. Technically, you're only coming home to the lighthouse, you're not actually coming home home. Your that home and our home are two very different things, Westy. <laughs> Y'all are cult members, so we all sea. have the same home. Yeah, but not, not all of us live there. We just happen to visit frequently. Says who? Okay, it's not the treehouse where the club meets, but uh, it's not too bad, this lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, see? I might get it as a beach home. Right. Okay. Oh, is it a good place where we can use as a cult hideout? I mean, if we want to go swimming after our club meetings. Sounds like fun to me. Good plan. I'll see about buying it. A car costs $30, so this has got to be like 120 max. 
I don't know about that, RPD. Ness is trying real hard to get me to convince Adam to move to Vermont right now. We uh, would miss you. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, good. No, get Adam so, to move. Not get him to move. Oh. I think you're up now. Oh, me? So you come home too? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. There you go. You are exploring. Thank you. Westy. You finally gonna yes. run for it here? Yeah, I'm gonna move. Let's see how motivated I am to move. Motivated. Six. That's like kind of Six. motivated, but it's motivated enough Jesus. to get you out of the streets. I'm not in the streets. Correct, but like, or sorry, to get you out into the streets and then back off the streets. Let's see, so one, two, three, four. You know what? I feel like some coffee. Oh, that's I'm always a bad Velma. decision. Don't drink the coffee okay. at Velma's oh, Diner. So Don't that, drink the coffee. Yep. Uh, you are in the city of the Great Race with me. You're absolutely right, I am. So here, take that, take that, and take this. If you succeed, oh. we can close all the gates. If oh, Chad gets their gun back. You can pass to me. Chad gets their gun back. Okay. Hold it. Either Before way, I then leave. you can have that, and if you succeed your knowledge pass, we can potentially close all three gates. If you fail, you can pass that stuff back to me, and I can try as well. Okay, sounds close. good. Uh, all right, so I need a knowledge check of... I need to go four or lower. Hold on, Zach. What? Yeah. Before I leave, I'm giving Shmali four dollars for his car. Oh. Oh, well, you're so nice. I need a driver, so. <laughs> Alright, am I good to do my fine gate check at this point? Yes, do your fine gate check. My bad, my bad. Alright. I need a four or lower. I got it. Okay, you are out of the city of the great race. Yay! I got it. Oh, you got it. Token. Yep. Fantastic. There you go. And I'm just gonna. Uh, I did not move in here, so I have to stay here. I. Correct. So I do not get a chance to shuffle yet. So you're gonna do silver key shenanigans to, uh, to try and get home? Uh, no, I can't do that. Okay, so now that I'm out, I can't close this gate. Otherwise, you're stuck there. But if you close it, that's the end of the game, regardless. Is it? Right. Yeah. Oh my if, if god, you're three, right. Close the gates, we win. Oh, so a noble I'm, sacrifice will be remembered. I, I will sacrifice hey. myself in the city of the great race for this. All right. Wait, isn't this the, like the second time that Vincent Lee has been sacrificed? At least. Yeah, yes. pretty much. I don't know if it's Vincent Lee or me in particular, but it's happened to me before. <laughs> Alright, so try to close it, Zach. Uh, it's not my turn yet. Oh. So, Jamali's up. I also just Chimali. realized that. Oops. I got a five. I also just realized I never turned off Cthulhu's buffy hair. <laughs> okay. Encounter phase? I think so. So Joe Diamond's up first. Is he going to attempt to close the plateau of Lang? Nah, Joe Diamond's gonna go for a swim. Yeah, he's gonna try to close the Plateau of Wang. It's a terrible vacation spot. Zero okay. out of ten stars. All right, All so, right. so to close the Plateau. <laughs> close the Plateau of Wang, um, you need a fight check of 15. Uh, and currently on board, you have your five, plus your one is six. Um, plus dynamite would be eight. So that's 14, so a D-roll would get it. Yeah. If okay. you roll a one or better... 
you will close this gate. Yep. If you Joe shut Diamond's down. gonna give it a shot. Wanna better? Not too hard. But he got a five. You sure did. Blow oh, that dynamite. Lampy, we're sure going to miss our friend dynamite, but I think it's worth it to get out of that place. There's a plateau of laying gate for you. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy. I'm Joe Diamond. Jared. Okay. I have the Sword of Glory. And a fight of three, so that's nine, so I need at least a, a one. one. Oh, wow. You were definitely through the correct gate here. Uh, nope. I got a three. Sorry. Yeah, you got it. That, that works. <laughs> That'll work. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Okay. All right, Westy. That'll do. Velma's diner. All right. A Velma's okay, diner try encounter. To avoid, try to avoid the coffee, but, you know. At this point, I'm up for anything. Yeah, for real. I need something to go to cookies. You want a five or a six? A six. Spend one dollar, buy special Girl Scout cookies, and add one strength point. And you I don't have, have a dollar. dollar. Wow. Those are real special Girl Scout cookies. Decline and treat as no encounter. All right. You already ate all the Girl Scout cookies. I ate a bunch of Girl Scout cookies and I gave all my money to Shamali because I need to go on a diet now. Alright, that leaves it to me. I have a fight of four plus an E-knife for another four is eight uh, to att attempt a 13. So I need, what, a five? Or yep. chat could hand me a gun. Me. <gasps> yes. Hey. hey, RPD says deploy gun to Zach. Alright. So that means that I now have four plus four is eight plus four is 12. I need a 13. Blink and tries to steal the gun from me. I need a one or better. I rolled a two. That, my friends, ladies, gentlemen, friends, Romans, countrymen, that's game. Wait. We pulled it out. So, that means that there are only a couple things left to do tonight for this game. Because I'm going to pull a fast one on the players here. Um, and that is to determine who is the god of Arkham. Uh, so, we're going to go around in table order and make our case. Just like on an auction, chat, you may vote. Each, player, each person in chat has one vote. Each person... Not sit currently sitting at the virtual tabletop, Jared Westy, <laughs> uh, has one vote, and RPD will speak for the chat. RPD is the speaker of the house. Um, so I guess I'll start. Uh, Jenny Barnes tonight closed the final gate of the game and really kind of just ran like a coward other than that. And I guess contributed to another gate as well by helping out with, by handing an ench enchanted knife. Other than that, she was kind of a coward. Broody. Um, so I also closed the gate and handed stuff off to help close the second gate. Um, I also increased the difficulty, summoned two gods. Um, in the first turn. In the first turn. In the first turn. Um, and yeah, uh, that's about all I've got. The gate I closed got, got rid of one monster. That is true. Chamali. Is he here? I shot Cthulhu in the face. <laughs> Which did absolutely Which, nothing. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's, it's a moot point right there. I shot Ooh. him in the face. Period. That was cool. Other than that, I don't really think Chamali did a whole lot of anything. Yeah, I mean, shooting Cthulhu in the face is a lot of time in the hospital awesome. or sanitarium. Yeah. I mean, Chris. in the sanitariums, learned that my shooting him in the face actually killed him in my dreams. That's that's a fair point. All right, Chris, make your case. All right. Now, you all know that Joe Diamond is a survivor and a vacationer extraordinaire from the Plateau of Lang. But I couldn't have done anything I did without my friend and romance partner, Lampy, and our son, Dinamite who was used to destroy that gate. 
at the very end there, just before everybody else did their thing. So I'd like to put forward my friend and romance partner, the Lamp of Al Hazred, as the the hero of where are we today? Arkham. <laughs> he's, he's nominating. He's not nominating Joe Diamond. He's nominating Lampy. I second the motion. <laughs> I, I burned it. That's not even turn yet. That's great. All right, Jared, make your case. Um. Well, you know, honestly, after Joe Diamond's uh, little monologue there, I got nothing. I closed one gate. Uh, I drew a couple of monsters that weren't powers. That's all I got. And Westy. So I'm I'm actually going to uh, use my vote for Lampy. I'm sorry. How do you follow up Joe Diamond and Lampy? You I, I I I ate a bunch of Girl Scout cookies, and then I ate some more Girl Scout cookies. I gave everybody cool cult nicknames, including Chat. <laughs> Yeah, which I didn't even read off. I should probably do that. I have been yeah, deemed the cult me. spy. Broody is the cult handler. Chamali is, of course, the cult driver. <laughs> Chris is the cult talker. Bonzi Buddy has been nicknamed the missing cult member. Uh, Jared is, of course, the trainee. Westy is the cult leader. And Chat is the active cultist. Okay. See? Oh, hey, I've been promoted from trainee to cult leader trainee. Oh, yeah, cult you're leader a cult leader trainee. 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 Yeah, awesome. So. All I right, chat. I somebody to take over once more. Cast yeah. your votes. I see Kirk has already weighed in in favor of Joe Diamond. Blink, we're waiting on you. And then we'll get the final Let's vote say, from my, RPD. My vote will go to Joe Diamond purely on the uh, fact that he's the only one of us to not die. All right. So tonight's God of Arkham, against all odds. And is, against the will of the guy that's running the system. Yeah, against everything, is the lamp of Robin Williams. The lamp of Alhazred <laughs> is the god of Arkham tonight, and I can think of no better to, thing to do than to place the lamp of Robin Williams in the table and flip it over. <laughs> oh my god, what a ridiculous game this was! That why do was we? So awesome. So why don't we maybe know. play something uh, a little less unusual? Is anybody up for I a just, game of Fate of the Elder Gods real quick? Yeah. Sure, why not? All right. Sure. All um, right. I just want to mention, Westy wanted to quit that game. I know. Okay, right. It. Yeah, Westy, you are fired from ever making decisions whether or not we can quit. All right. I'm just saying. Um. <laughs> when you draw two Elder Gods in the first couple of rounds and... Four of you go to the san sanitarium oh, shoot, because you went one. insane. This one's not ready. Oh, yet. not this one. No, not, 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 here, not that one. Not that one. Sorry, everybody. That's not the correct one. It's not quite ready yet. Um, well, I mean, I mean it is, but we don't have the rules for it. Yeah, I have. Saka's being sneaky, sneaky. I don't, I don't think. Do you have the? One without it? Uh, I do. I like the workshop one. So, it was the workshop one's been Bonzi Buddy, and he saved it without all the scripting done, I think. Oh, God. So, if I hand you control, can you load the good one? Uh, oh, I guess, yeah, that would have worked a lot easier than me putting, loading it this way. Oh, okay. I mean, I, well, if, you, if you've already got it loaded, we can join on you. And these are the things, chat, that we do behind the scenes that you don't get to hear all the yeah, time. Yeah, you, you don't normally get to see this. Uh, and we will play as quickly as possible because I still have to make dinner, but... Um... I was about to say, I may need to duck out, so... Okay, that's fine, Broody. I'll talk to you tomorrow night, man. Yep, sounds good. Do you have one open yet, um... Yes. Oh, I... Did, are you, you did a private game, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's all right. See, 
the whole plan of the private game is to not show the password to the entire chat and everyone right. watching. Right. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I will jump in on... Bree's so Red we Song. got I'll how many people? Ahead. We've got four, I think. Five. We've got five. So do you want me to sit out? I can just I can just help run the game. Oh, I I can sit out. Are you sure, Jared? Yeah. Okay. Purple Westy's got dibs on blank. purple blink. Always. And uh, you know who I want. Where is he? Oh, don't don't put the monsters in, Chamali. Oh, we're not doing the expansion. No, just in the interest of time. They take extra time. Oh, I just realized. Go on. I just jumped out of uh, tabletop. Yeah, that's so fine. am I still going to be on the stream? Uh, your voice is. Oh, good. You're going to reselect your... Yeah, that's fine. So Fate of the Elder Gods is a game released by our friends at Greater Than Games, um, where instead of trying to prevent the end of the world, we are actually the cult leaders of the various cults of Elder Gods trying to bring about the end of the world. Um, the way the game works is we it's an area, area control game where we're pla we place a cultist from our lodge <clears throat> and an investigator that chases it through town on one of the spokes of the Doom Wheel and activates certain abilities at the various locations. The museum is where we interact with cool artifacts and wreck up the place. The ceremony is where we uh, activate our Elder Gods Dark Gift, which I'll get to later. The Streets of Arkham is where we tip off the police and try and get them to raid other players and uh, get Elder Signs, which in this case are bad. Uh, the Gathering is where we re recruit more people to our cause. The Library is where we gain more spell cards, and I'll get to cover those in just a minute. And the Other Worlds is where we try and tick up our summon track. If we ever get to nine, we win. Uh, but most of the time, the, el the Elder Signs go around the other way, and if we ever seal our or get sealed out, then we lose. Um, so, yeah. Uh, more on that stuff as we move through the game. I'm playing as Bokrug tonight. Oh, don't say his name, Westy. I'm going with I'm going with a bad language word. Jamali, who you got? Uh, is Chris gonna pick? The Chris pick. Okay. Chris, are you... Oh, I gotta invite Chris to the game. <laughs> that would be intelligent. I'm here. I got in. I followed you. Oh, okay. So, you're... Yep, okay, you're yellow. Do you remember this game, Chris? It's been a long time since you've played. I don't remember at all. Okay, I'm well, not entirely sure this is one of the ones that... But I'll follow along. Um, Jared, the there should be you. a spectator slot here, so... Um, Alternatively, I can spectate and just learn how it's been played. Are you sure? I mean, either way is fine. I don't, I don't mind. I got stuff to do. I can watch and pay attention at the same time. So do you want me to jump in? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, how do I get out? Uh, click change your, your name. Color. Yeah, change your name to gray. Or your color to gray. Uh, oh, oh, there you go. You got it. Thank you. Yep. And I will be yellow. All right, Jared, go ahead and grab an elder oh, god. And I... Oh, gosh golly. So many to choose from. Um... Ooh, you know, I've never played Nyarlathotep. Good one, good one. And Chamali's got Big Daddy over there. Didn't play as him. Really? All right. Okay, so... I generally pick a Thakwa. What's that? I generally pick a Thakwa. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fair. Okay, uh, we need to roll, is it, three? it's 3d6 to determine who goes first. We're looking for skulls or tentacles. Uh, well, we have a randomization. Uh, That's method. right, we do have that, even though I rolled two. Uh, because Chamali has, Chamali and Greg and I have, uh, what, how did you spell Nyarlathotep? Nyarnyar? <laughs> it's literally just a bunch of letters. <laughs> want to look I mean, that's exactly on how that you one. Right? But Chamali and Greg and I have worked uh, pretty hard on this mod. Um, all the miniatures and stuff. 
uh, are things we've imported and uh, modified and made look cool. Uh, it's all scripted. It all like is laid out as perfectly as possible. So we, you know, there's a lot of hours into this. Definitely download it if you're into Tabletop Simulator. We had an absolute ball working on it, and there is more to come. Uh, the one that I loaded is in progress, but we need to work. We need to meet with Daryl and uh, get it all finalized. So everybody got dump cards, but me. You have cards. It's three cards, Westy. It's not six. Now you have six. Oh. Okay, I can't actually see my cards. Like there's Additional nothing on them. Cards acquired. They should be right down at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, they're. they're oh, right. I see them on the Twitch screen, but I can't actually see them in the game. <laughs> oh, that's weird. This will be interesting. Method to reload. Yeah. Since. Yeah, because uh, I flip them over and I get the, the symbols. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. I'm gonna reload. I'll we'll just, you know, casually do some learning and growing over here. Well, uh, <laughs> it's Jerry's turn first, anyway, so it'll yeah. take a okay. minute. That's fair. Um. So. Let's oh, we see. need the. Um. Shmali, we did forget the cards on the spokes. Oh yeah. I thought that was part of our scripting. Oh, I always forget that. Because I always forget that it's a thing. Yeah. It's something that's really easily done, too. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh... So when we do planned streams of Fate of the Elder Gods, I will play as sort of the overlord, the god, and I'll be able to see um, what's in everybody's hand, and I'll do com color commentary on it. I have a way of doing it, and it involves just kind of turning my mic on, my head mic on and off. Uh, that way people in the game can't actually hear me, but chat, you will be able to. <clears throat> so we're, uh, that'll, that'll come soon. So, I'm back. I still can't see my cards. <laughs> At least I see I have a key. Well, you're, you're, I mean, spells, though. So. Uh, yeah, I'm playing with those spells. I can see what cards I have on the Twitch stream. No, you can't. You see them out here. I can see them, like the backs of the cards. I just can't see the words. I can't see what the spells are. I mean, that's a severe handicap. Can you see this card? Not anymore. Now I can see the back. You need so you to reinstall see Tabletop the Simulator, Westy. What? You, I think you need to just outright reinstall the Tabletop Simulator, because this, this happens to you in Buffy, this happens to you in 2nd Edition. Oh, it happened to me in 1st Edition. I couldn't see where the monsters were. I was just watching the Twitch stream. Lastly, you can... Uh... You can go into your mod folder, and I would just delete your mod folder completely and down, re down, have the games re download everything essentially is what you mm -hmm. have to do. Yeah. I can do that. But for tonight, Chris, you want to take my spot? Well, so I'm realizing um, that we have, like, we're 10 minutes away from the two hour mark. So we could just call it. Yeah. Up to you guys. I don't care. I don't know. How are people feeling? Mm. I could go either way. Yeah, like, I mean, I, yeah. What does chat like to do? Well, chat would want me to keep going. They like to buy guns. Joel and they like to buy guns. About the chat. Blink says he feels let down. But I mean, that's by design. but I mean, Hold in on. the words of Tommy Wiseau, that's the idea. You oh, have could to you do imagine if that was like oh, actually your stick? Is that like every single stream you start in the second game, and then just never actually took the first turn? Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that thing. That would definitely be another letdown. It would. I've, I've always laughed because, like, with that name, you seriously expect to be disappointed every time 
and you like introduce it to somebody new, you're they're like they're gonna think this is gonna be something to be disappointed in. And I don't know how people tend to feel about it, but like I'd hope as a creator it wouldn't be disappointment. No. Yeah, I mean, we, we worked really hard on those comedy sketches, and people seem to like them, like, especially Hardcore LARP. That one was so much fun. That one was pretty well received, especially because we know a lot of LARPers, so well, those people tended to like it as well. That way, like, also, you wrote the crap out of that sketch. Like, your your writing was amazing on it. <laughs> and I that was like... time with that one. That was... I really cut loose for that one, similar way to how I do with the weird Joe Diamond stuff. And yeah. I, like, I know that some of that can be hit or miss, but, uh... Oh. What are you doing? Uh... Oh, dude, are we allowed to show this? Yeah. We Really? This is our stuff. This is oh. homebrew stuff. Are, are you sure we're allowed to do this on stream? Because I want to talk about this, but I have, I've, I've been playing really coy about it. The, the stuff that we've been making on the, for homebrew? Because this is, well, this is something we're going to do on stream properly as soon as we have the go-ahead to do it. Adventure system? Yeah! Huh. Yeah, no, this is all homebrew. Like, uh, this isn't, like, this is homebrew stuff we could show. Okay, so, uh, here, uh, so in the last ten minutes tonight, uh, we'll give you a teaser of something that we've been working on really hard behind the scenes. We're really excited to bring this. This will be on the show very soon. Um, you know, sort of sporadically. Um, and that is Chamali and Adam. So that's Comics and Coffee. And Speedy Olrak and Broody Gambit and myself and Brian Le uh, Sorry, uh, Cult of Gloom. Cult of Gloom, Brian. Uh, and I have been working on uh, homebrewing in the Adventures Universal game system, which is currently... Uh, available in both Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Batman the Animated Series. Uh, but we realized this this game kind of works for everything. Chamal, you want to elaborate on our sort of design process, our, our initial concepting? Oh, uh, we basically took a deep dive into the characters and tried to figure out what they what made them work, and we were woefully wrong on the process that they use because I like numbers, so obviously I drafted towards a number-based approach, and then based on the most recent stuff, that is clearly wrong. Um, but that is the approach we took, is uh, we basically tried to balance everything out um, as... Uh, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Evenly as possible, I mm -hmm. guess. Um, and basically to pick where we started picking characters from, it was basically Adam was like, oh, I have these minis. I want to play with these guys, so let's make these guys into uh, characters. And it's like, okay. And so we started basically down the road, and everyone loves X-Men. That's why X-Men is the... Uh, we have most X-Men characters uh, ready to be played. Um, they're not perfect, uh, but they're playable. Yep. Um, we have a couple Avengers. Uh, we have a couple Marvel Knights. Uh, yes, Ghost Rider is technically not a Marvel Knight, but... Um, since we're not really going super heavy into the Midnight Suns yet, and or yeah, I'm not sure if we will, so we're technically right. leaving him out. Uh, Fantastic Four, Human Torch, and then, oh wait, Zero is not part of any of the... Yeah, where did he come from? Uh, so, everyone knows my infinite obsession with Mega Man Zero. Every time Captain Kirk gets a sub, we see Zero shooting some, some Mavericks, and it's great. Um... And, yeah, so I was just like, I really want to do Mega Man characters. And Speedy Olrak was like, yes, I do too. Um, so Speedy and I have been working on... Uh, we've got Zero done, uh, X is almost done, and Classic Mega Man is al also almost done. Um, so I worked really... What What's wrong with Didi's dice? It's just white. No. Oh, it's white for you? Yeah. That's weird. That's all right, we'll, we'll fix it, but... Um, so I did I did Daredevil also. Um, basically, actually, Chamali and Adam and I hammered out Daredevil in, in 24 hours. <laughs> we got really excited about it. Um, and we actually, we introduced a couple of new die facings um, that uh, we feel, I mean, obviously should be part of the game and, and currently aren't. Um, but we, so we've, we've gone around the internet and we've sourced uh, artwork for... 
for all the cards and such. Uh, there they are. So we got like Triple Strike for Daredevil, we got uh, Relentless Justice. There's there's one that I'm particularly fond of, uh, and that's Objection. Because we got him in Lawyer Garb. Uh, take, you know, taking, getting in the way of some bullets and kicking a guy in the face. I thought that was fantastic. Uh, and all the card, all the, all the decks have, uh, curated art uh, and, and whatnot. We do, Chamali and I have done, or Chamali specifically has done a whole bunch of, uh, custom dice. So, like, Daredevil has, like, the, the echolocation symbols. Uh, Ghost Rider has this really cool glowy effect. I think that was, that was the first one we did, um... That was just kind of non-standard. Uh, we're gonna improve zeros at some point. Um, so yeah, this is this is a game system that we are testing, uh, or the homebrew stuff we are. And uh, once it is, once we we deem that it is good enough to show off, uh, and we get permission from the people who created o A G A O G S, uh, who we are in contact with, um, we will we will show this on the stream. Hey, Greg, uh, we won. It was great, and uh, Chris's Chris's lamp of Robin Williams was deemed the god of Arkham tonight. So we're just showing off the AOGS stuff that we're working on, um, and and just announcing that yeah, we will uh, coming soon to a trapped in Arkham near you. We will do uh, Marvel and Capcom and Dragon Ball Z and I don't know, you name it, AUGS. Um, we did, what did we test? It was Colossus, Cyclops, Zero, and Captain America together at one point, and that was super fun. Uh, we're working on workshop, we're workshopping some scenarios that are just kind of generic. Um, we noticed that a lot of the characters that exist are very, like, what would you call it, Jamali? Uh, like for a flavor, like, or, uh, flavor, prioritize flavor over balance. I would say that we do that. Uh, I don't... So, some of this content, like, uh, Birdie would be able to speak a lot better. I don't feel that Nightwing, for example, who was just announced or mm -hmm. uh, shown off today, is flavored correctly. Yeah, it does, he's doesn't feel like Nightwing to me. Yeah, he's flavored as, like, a, a very fast tank, essentially. Yeah, a uh, very mo movement-oriented tank, and I'm not. He's the first character that I'm like not really crazy about, to be honest. Yeah, and that that I mean that hurts me greatly. <laughs> you all know how much of a Nightwing fan yeah. I am. <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh, so but I, he's mod. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Go no go ahead. Uh, all of this this whole mod is available to download on the workshop. Uh, okay. Cool. Take simulator workshop for everyone. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So yeah, uh, AUGS, really, really, it's a very fun system. We really, really enjoy it. It's a shared dice thing. Uh, you roll a couple, you, you roll your, your set of dice, and then you share one with the person sitting on either side of you. Um, so it is truly cooperative. You truly do feel like you're supporting each other. Um, and yeah, I can't, I can't wait to show that off. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, any other thoughts? I agree. Like we nailed it. Yeah. All right. So I think that's probably where we're going to call it for tonight. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Um, I had a blast doing this, and, uh, and obviously we were done a little bit earlier than we expected. Um, yeah, we all like co-op games, Blink. They are, I mean, that's that's the bread and butter of Trapped in Arkham. We love cooperating with each other. That's why we started the mm. show, honestly. Um, it, it's, you know, we miss playing cooperative games in person. Although, I get my vaccine, my first vaccine next Saturday. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Um, our our, our really governor cool. finally uh, 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 approved it for teachers, and uh, our school jumped right on it, and they they got a whole boatload of them. And they said we're vac we're vaccinating all the teachers in the district. <laughs> I was like, okay, sounds great. Awesome. Um, so hopefully we'll be back in person, Jared, uh, sooner than later. But Trapped in Arkham will, will live on because I got to be honest. Hanging out with you all on Friday afternoon is, like, the best. It's so much fun. And you as well, chat. Awesome. Uh, we love you very much. Uh, okay, Captain Kirk, if you're still here, Twitson lacks a sub. Um, anyway, 
thank you all so much for hanging out. Uh, we'll be, or Broody and I will be back tomorrow night doing some miniatures painting. And um, I'll be back on Thursday for Batman. And I think Alex and I did get the kinks worked out for uh, Gears Tactics as well. So we will uh, we will do that as well. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. And we'll talk to you real soon. Bye. Good night, all. Good night, Stay safe out there. <laughs>